Today, I'm going to show you how to create individualized attendance certificates from Google Forms or Sheets using a plugin called Autocrat right now. Hi, my name is Abdurrahman Siddiqui, aka Pakistani Pepper. I'm a high school teacher and Google Certified Educator. On this channel, I do teaching and tech tutorials like this one, so if you're new here, consider subscribing. I've previously shown you how to take attendance using Google Forms and how to document that attendance using Google Sheets. However, while that's good for your own data, sometimes you need to give attendance certificates to a large group of people, and creating those individually can be annoying. So today I'm going to show you how to create individualized certificates and send them to individual students' emails right from Google Sheets using a free plugin called Autocrat. Let's go. So the first thing you're going to need is a Google Sheet with the date, the name, and the email. Again, if you don't know how to make this form or generate it as attendance, I'll include that link below. You're also going to need an attendance certificate template. So let's begin. The first thing you're going to do is make sure you have your attendance certificate exactly as you need it. You're also going to make sure that you go to add-ons and you get an add-on called Autocrat. It shows up immediately for me, but if it doesn't, you're going to go ahead and you're going to search Autocrat. Install the add-on. Give it any necessary permissions. Autocrat has now been installed. So here's the first thing you're going to do. Before you can use Autocrat, you're going to need a little bit of preparation. Go to the student attendance certificate template that you plan on using. And you're going to add the columns from your Google Sheet that you want to populate. I want to populate the date and I want to populate the name. So wherever I want to place the name, I'm going to do angle brackets for the less than, name, and close angle brackets. Again, I'm picking that directly from the Google Sheet that I had. I'm also going to take the date same format, two angle brackets to open, two angle brackets to close. Date. And that's going to pick it right from the sheet. I'm not going to use the email yet because I don't need it yet, but that is where I will be sending the certificates when they are ready. Now I'm going to go to my drive and I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to say student attendance certificates. As you can see, this is currently a blank folder. The first thing I'm going to do is move my student attendance certificate in that new folder. Just for ease of organization. Now I'm going to go back to Google Sheets and I'm going to click Add-ons, Autocrat, which I just installed, and open. I'm going to create a new job. I will call this student attendance certificates and click next. Now, as you can see, it's asking me to choose a template. So I'm going to go to from drive and I'm going to choose the template that I just made student attendance. Click next. Now, as you can see, it's going to ask me to start merging the data from the sheet to the certificate template. So I'm going to merge from sheet one, which is where I have it. And where it says name, I'm going to map that column. I'm going to make sure it's mapped to name. And where I wanted the date back here, I'm going to make sure that's mapped to column date. So again, the date it picks up from column one, the name it picks up from column two. Whatever you wish to populate here, it's going to do that. But notice how if I had not placed name and date here with the angle brackets, it would not have found them here. Click next. Now the file name, again, you can choose how you want to name it. So what I'm going to do is once again, I'm going to say name, open and close angle brackets. 
and I'm going to say attendance certificate. What that means is each file will be named using the name from column B. Now you can want it as a Google Doc or you can want it as a PDF. I prefer PDFs for emailing. And you want multiple output mode because you want separate files for each student that you're sending to. Click Next. Choose the destination folder. It already chose it for me. That's where my certificate was, but you would pick student attendance certificates or you can always choose from the list. Student attendance certificates, select. It can ship it to more than one folder, so you want to make sure you have it only in one. Click Next. You don't need a dynamic folder. You don't need a merge condition right now for this. Now it says Share the Doc. If I were to just execute the program right now, it would put all of the PDFs in a folder, but it wouldn't send them anywhere, and then I would be responsible for sending them to a million places. I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'll click Share Doc. I will share it as a PDF. Don't want collaborators to reshare. It doesn't really matter. And do you want to send it from a generic no reply email address? That's only for Google Apps accounts on Gmail users, so I click no. And now you're going to say to, and once again, here is the key. I want to use open brackets. I'm going to click email. What that is going to do is that it's going to generate the list based on whoever is in the email account. So meaning my email, for example, is next to my name. So that is who it will send that to. Izuku Midoriya, him it will send on his email. Shoto Todoroki, it will send it to him on his email, and so on and so forth. Now type in the subject, once again, name, attendance, certificate. And once again, in the message, dear name, please find attached your attendance certificate. Thank you. Click Next. This is if you want to create a job trigger, meaning you want to do it at specific times in the future. I just want to do it now, so I'm going to click No. And I'll click Save. And now, as you can see, the jobs that I had created are saved here. This is from an older one, so I'm not worried about that. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to press Play to run the job that I just created. And as you can see, it is now showing me that it's starting the merge and sending it to all the students. And now, as you can see, it has given me a couple of things. This tells me that the document has been made. This is the link in the drive to where that certificate is. And when I click here, you'll see that this is now a personalized certificate in my name with the date. I go to the next one, same thing. This is for Izuku Midoriya. Katsugi Bakugo, and so on and so forth. And all of them used this template, and they are now in my student certificates folder. It even gives me the link and the hyperlinked title. For each. And as you can see, I can even check the status for each one. It says that the document was successfully created, document was successfully merged, the PDF was created, and the email was sent to my email. Going to my Gmail, lets me see that the email that was sent out to me with my name has been received. With my individualized certificate, with my name populated, and the date. For everyone else who receives it on the list, it would instead say be a PDF saying their name instead of mine. And that is how you use Autocrat to create individualized certificates of attendance or progress reports or whatever you may wish for students from a list of Google Sheets. So that's it. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer to the best of my ability. And if you found this video helpful, consider liking and subscribing. This is Abdul Rahman Siddiqui, aka Pakistani Pepper, saying peace out, stay peppery, and don't forget, sometimes life's best lessons are in the stories 
we here at least. Have an awesome day, guys.